I looked uh, up the website of uh, Kazan 2024 to see, you know, what is the program about and uh, especially this combination of esports and real sports. So this is definitely an interesting uh, idea. Um, especially, well, as you said, some people will be joining online, but some of them who are offline, they will have some uh, hybrid tournament rules and the finals, which is exciting. So this is definitely a something uh, we have not seen before or, or very often. But I couldn't really find uh, how many, you know, virtual games. So esports games are going to be present apart from, I think I have seen uh, Counter-Strike 2, definitely. Mm, maybe Mortal Kombat, but the other ones, I I still couldn't find the information. So if you know more about those, uh, yeah, let me know. I would be interested. In general, um, well, all kinds of um, small and big major events are happening all over the world every year uh, when it comes to esports, and you know it's it's growing, still growing rapidly, and many, many, many more people get to know this industry and uh, the entertainment part. It depends on the games, you know. Some some games are five versus five team uh, oriented games. Uh, there's shooting. There's uh, mobile you know team-based strategy like league of legends so all kinds of things are you know in, in for the entertainment for whoever wants to experience this world uh, myself i'm more interested in single player uh, tournaments so when where one person is um, competing for example in gran turismo or any other racing simulator it's more about individual performance and other games or genres like fighting games where it's literally the one versus one uh, experience, especially if you are sitting next to the the other person, it's a whole different uh, mentality and mental uh, game that's going on while you are playing. So it's uh, many people are referring to this as um, chess in the mind. <laughs> that this is the kind of word I'm interested in. Well, I definitely noticed this uh, phenomena happening, uh, especially since uh, last year, summer, I think. Um, there were many major events. Uh, for example, the, the Olympics, I believe. It was tough to get into that uh, the eSports Olympics, I mean. Yeah, uh, players from Russia found, some of them found their way to compete in tournaments, but not many, as you said. Uh, it was a difficult situation for them and it still is. It's an interesting topic, definitely. I would say, you know, they should, um, when, I mean, when I say they, maybe it's, you know, the whole world, we can mean it. Uh, they should try to avoid this uh, discrimination as you described. Mm. But at the same time, there is this uncertainty on, on all levels, on, on on in both parties so if we think about kazan 2024 that's uh the host country in the middle of russia so pretty much uh, far to the to the east uh, not on the eastern side but you know it's uh, right in the middle as i checked on the map and even that uh, is i know kazan has its own airport that was the first thing i checked because i was interested in you know where is it located how do you get there and even in uh, today's situation, um, how many uncertain elements can be for a player or, you know, who are invited to this event? So all kinds of questions come up and uh, sometimes companies uh, based on this uh, information decide to just uh, ban these channels uh, to avoid conflict or anything. So it's, it's a tough decision to make, uh, especially if you don't see all the moving parts and puzzles as an as a viewer of the whole uh, situation or as you know a simple player in the world you know everybody's trying their best to out uh, outplay the other so that's something you don't see in real sports uh, and uh, i would say this is the main the key moving factor that allows everybody to um think positively about you know, integrating esports into the Olympic sports. The other fact that, you know, how would you um, organize the qualification and also the 
competing offline, so competing locally, that's something to be thought about. But, you know, there's still half a year to figure out. So they could start now and everybody would be happy to take part in this, especially that um, there is already at least one uh, world event where esports are kind of taken as uh, Olympic Games or, you know, the world stage of certain games, for example, in ISF. Uh, that's almost every country in the world is um, who who joined this um, big project can send their own teams and players for each game, and they represent themselves or you know their country just like in real sports. So this has been going on for a while already, but uh, the Olympics is a, would be a much much bigger representation for every country. So it's a it's a big goal for everybody, I think with uh, playing competitively on especially on the highest level of esports.